What's up, Kobe? Nothing much, how are we? I'm doing well. Nice to see you. Hope I hope Tampa's treating you well. Yes, yeah, sir. How was uh how was Bush Gardens and the other uh, other events you guys have been able to take part of? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, it's really cool to be able to hang out with the team in a different setting, you know, kind of away from football. Obviously, we're here for the one purpose of winning this football game. But um, the other events have been really, really fun. It's been really cool to, to hang out with the guys a little bit. What's uh, what's going through the mind of the defensive line where it seems like it seems like for a lot of you guys, it's it's the final time. It's It's like for real this time, right? Yeah. So um, I think, you know, last week with the senior speeches, it started to hit home a little bit, um, you know, with our, our last practice at our own field, um, it started to hit home, you know, that this is our last opportunity to go out and, and do this thing together. So, um, you know, we've definitely been kind of coming to grips with it. Uh, we've been hanging out a lot too, um, you know, outside of things, you know, spending this last bit of time that we can together. Um, but it definitely means a lot. You know, we, we want to go out with the win. We want to go out, you know, having played the best game that we have, you know, all season. Um, and, you know, for, we would love to play the best game that we have of our life. Um, so it definitely means a lot. You know, this group, we have come together um, and it's 100 percent a family in that D-line room. And it means a lot to, to go out and, you know, fight for a win for not only myself, for not only, you know, everybody else as an individual, but, you know, for us all as a unit. Kobe, with, uh, you know, this being your, your last game in college, what has your time meant with Wake Forest? Yeah, um, it's truly been a blessing. Um, and I touched on this a little bit when I got to talk to the team um, for my senior speech. But again, you know, not everybody gets the opportunity to play college football. Um, not everybody gets the amount of years I've had. You know, I've, I've been able to have a redshirt year and a COVID year. And then to be able to come into a program um, with this type of culture, with this type of leadership, um, and just really, you know, not have to worry about doing too much else other than just contributing my part, you know, being the best version of me that I can be. Um, it's meant a lot. And so it's been such a blessing to be a part of this team, um, you know, to be able to go out and represent Wake Forest and uh, try my best to elevate that jersey. It's, it's meant a lot. And so as this chapter comes to an end, you know, it certainly has, you know, it's not, it, it doesn't feel like I've just been here for a year. It's, it's felt like I've been here for a long, you know, a long time. And that's a huge credit to the team, a huge credit to the environment, to the coaches. Um, so it definitely means a lot um, for me for this to be the last one. You mentioned you guys playing the best game of your lives uh, against Missouri. What's it going to take for that defense to, to play the best game this season and, and of y'all's lives? It's going to take a lot. You know, this is a very talented football team, you know, an SEC team, big offensive linemen, talented skill players. Their quarterback is dynamic. Um, you know, he's one of the best runners that we've had. Um, Coach Lambeau compares him a lot to the Duke quarterback. Um, and then they have skilled people who, um, you know, are able to make plays and um, are able to make big plays. So for us, it really comes down to stopping the run. And that includes, you know, all of their scheduled run plays, their stretches, their counters, their zones. Um, but that also includes, you know, stopping the quarterback on quarterback draws on quarterback scrambles, you know, containing him um, within our rush lanes on the defensive front so that he doesn't get out and make an explosive player so that he doesn't um, get out and then, you know, be able to throw it down the field because we're in a scramble drill. So um, that's one of the things is containing the run. Another thing that it comes down to is just creating havoc. Um, we're at our best. You know, when we're making negative plays, when we're able to get some TFLs and sacks and get them behind the sticks. Um, and so that's really what it comes down to a lot for, for the defensive front. And then it also comes down to not giving up big plays, not giving them any gifts. Um, and so that, you know, as a defensive lineman, it's our job to get to the quarterback um, in, a, in a time to manner so that the, the DBs don't have to cover too much and to, to keep them in the pocket. Um, or keep them contained, but still get them off his spot. So it's going to take a lot to win this game, um, a lot for us to have our best game. Uh, but but that's exactly what you want. You know, you don't want to be going to a bowl game where you feel like you're playing a team um, that, you know, would be an easy win. That's not the purpose of this thing. This is a game to go and get better. It's a game, you know, of competition. And both two really deserving teams um, are here in Tampa. And, you know, on Friday, we're going to see who comes away with the win. Hey, Kobe, uh, 
obviously today was the early signing period. Uh, you know, high school seniors have made the decision to sign with Wake Forest. And then, and then there's the bowl game. And then, and then it's kind of portal season in a lot of ways. What would you say to a prospective student athlete who might be looking at Wake Forest? What would you, what would you tell them that Wake Health Forest has to offer them if they're looking to come for their final two, three years or whatever? That's a really, really good question. A really good question. Um, the first thing that I'd say, and you know, I think this has stayed consistent pretty much over all of my interviews is the brothership, the chemistry, the locker room, and the culture. You know, there's something that there that going here that you don't just find anywhere else. You don't find people who are as bought in, you don't find coaches who are as bought in, um, and not for their own personal gain. You know, you have coaches here who've uh, like Coach Cohen has been here with Coach Clawson for each of his years here, I'm pretty sure. Like you don't find that amount of, you know, coaches staying together and um, really an investment in, in, into the culture um, and, you know, teaching young men to be better young men and also to be better football players. Because I think that's one of the biggest jumps to coming from a young guy and, you know, growing up is, yes, it's about being better at football, but it's also about how you handle things, how you handle your weight, how you handle your classes, and all of that translates onto the field as far as how am I handling my job? What, it, how do I respond? You know, when I didn't do my job correctly and somebody calls me out on it. Um, so, you know, the big thing is the culture, and then you know, an opportunity to win football games. All of our games this year, um, you know, for the most part, I think except for the Louisville game, were one-score games, and obviously, you know sitting on this end of things, you know, that's not something you want to necessarily be talking about that we lost those, but you know, it goes back and forth. That's just how one score games go. And last year, um, this team won a lot of those games. Um, and this year we didn't, but we're right up there with anybody else. And, you know, a couple more plays, a couple of different plays this year, and, and we're having a completely different season. Um, so that's another thing, but my, my main thing, 100%, would be the culture, the type of guys that Wake Forest attracts, um, and the type of guys that this coaching uh, this coaching staff attracts. They're not just picking up random people who are not going to be good for the locker room. Like everybody has a very specific role um, on this team, and I think we play it really well. You have to excuse me because I'm at the airport, so hopefully you can hear me ask this, Toby. Um, What's what's next for you? I mean, I know you're knowing you, you're singular focused on Friday, 630 Missouri, but forget about that for a second. And what's next for you in terms of timeline and what the next couple of weeks, next few months are going to be like for you? Yeah. So after this, um, you know, I'll go spend Christmas with the family, take a little time to relax and then we'll get started training. Um, you know, January getting ready for the Shrine Bowl right now. It's It's been such an honor to be invited to that and um, to be able to, you know, participate in that and also to be able to give back. I know that there's opportunities to give back um, with the Shriners Hospital um, down there. So it's a blessing to be invited to that. And um, so far, it's me, Blake, and AT. So really excited to have, you know, a, a big group of Demon Deacons going there with me too. Um, but yeah, it's that. And then I get back to training, get ready for um, pro day. You know, if I get a combine invite, then I'll be getting ready for that. And then, you know, taking my shot for the league. So it's all kind of downhill from here. It's crazy to think about. But, you know, this year has really helped me a lot. Um, you know, this decision to come here is it's really helped me a lot. And so now my dreams are, you know, right on the horizon and I just got to go and get them. And I guess one last thing is uh, what's your favorite holiday song to, to sing, though? Ooh, there are so many. There are so many. There are so many. We were just, um, we were riding scooters through the city and singing some song last night. I don't know. It kind of depends. Sometimes, you know, I'm a silent night type of guy. Um, all I want for Christmas is you. You know, Mariah Carey is, is always on that Christmas list. Um, and then Pentatonix has a lot of really good Christmas music. So that's Christmas to Me by Pentatonix. If you haven't heard it, you should listen to it. It's really good stuff. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Kobe. I really appreciate you, man. Best of luck Friday. Yes, sir. Thank Thanks, you, guys. <laughs>